So unless you are brand new to the PC gaming sort of community and market in general, you probably noticed recently the graphics card prices are going through the roof. And at first it was just sort of localized to the AMD side of things, but now we're even seeing the Nvidia graphics cards get expensive, which is leaving very few on the market for gamers to get at reasonable prices. And by the way, if you wanna check out why those prices are going through the roof, you can click the card for a more detailed description of that whole fiasco. Regardless, there are still gamers out there that are either building brand new rigs or upgrading rigs that already exist and are trying to find graphics cards at decent prices. So I wanna give you a few tips and tricks to give you a better chance at finding those graphics cards at those good prices. That being said, I'm, you know, really not guaranteeing like that you're successful at all. So to seasoned veterans of looking for good deals for computer components, especially graphics cards, some of these won't really be new tips or tricks, but they are sort of best practices regardless. First and foremost, check everything local that you can. If you live in a city, check a local uh, electronics recycling center. They every now and then may end up with some graphics cards for some good prices. Also check sites like Craigslist for anybody that may be trying to unload a graphics card in a hurry. And it's those times when somebody's trying to get rid of something in a hurry that you'll find the best deals. For those of you that are going to eBay to pick up your graphics card in an effort to get it at a decent price, target times where cryptocurrency is sort of at a low point. So uh, as of the filming of this right now, Ethereum dropped clear down into the mid 200 price point. And by the way, maybe you want to pick that up if you're a cryptocurrency type. So when that cryptocurrency sort of dives, every now and then somebody that is mining or using their cards to mine decides they want to bail out while they can still get their return on their investment and get rid of their graphics cards for likely the money that they put into getting them in the first place. It's at those times when the market gets a little bit more flooded with graphics cards, especially on used sites like eBay, that you can sometimes score a better deal for those graphics cards. In addition on eBay, patience is your friend. Sort of target the auctions that are not buy it now auctions, so don't just click the buy it now button because those prices are likely to be inflated beyond where you should actually be paying for your card. Instead, you may wanna target results that are ending somewhat soon so you can hop in on the bidding process towards the end and have a better chance of scoring a good deal. You'll also wanna check out local retailers whenever possible. That would include uh, places like Best Buy, Fry's Electronics, Micro Center, those places, every now and then they'll get in a shipment that'll include some graphics cards and as soon as they hit the shelves, they may be gone. But if you stop in there frequently and just walk back to wherever they keep their graphics cards, every now and then you'll just get lucky and you'll happen to find the card you're looking for at the MSRP and on the shelf ready to be purchased. For the e-tailers like Amazon, Newegg, NCIX, those types of places, set up automatic notifications so when the card that you're trying to buy comes back into stock, you can hop right on that and purchase it before they're back out of stock, which may be very quickly if the card is priced anywhere near the manufacturer's suggested retail price. And to go along with that, don't limit yourself to one specific SKU of the card that you want. If you want a GTX 1070 right now, for example, those prices are much higher than they really should be, at least if you're just gaming. So if that's the card that you want, set up automatic notifications for all the different SKUs of that card. So when one becomes available, you can at least jump on that. That way you get at least one 1070 available to you. It may not be the exact one you sort of wanted, but at least you can get yourself uh, the card that you're looking for. And lastly, if you haven't picked out a specific model that you want, maybe you haven't picked a GTX 1070 as the only card you're gonna go with, look for some good alternatives. The GTX 900 series is a really good gaming alternative to the 10 series as well as the AMD cards because frankly, the 900 series just doesn't mine nearly as well or efficiently. So those cards are more readily available and more readily available importantly at a cheaper price point than the brand new Nvidia cards or the AMD cards. But at the end of the day, really you're gonna need a little bit of luck on your side to get the best deal possible. If you have your heart set on an AMD card right now, good luck out there, but you're probably not gonna find it for a reasonable price. If your heart is set on an Nvidia card, you have a better chance and some of these tips may help you score that deal that you're looking for. But like I said, ultimately, there's a little bit of luck involved and patience is your best friend.
So if you guys have any tips and tricks to find good deals in a volatile GPU market, let me know in the comments down below. Hopefully we can help somebody out and help them find the card for them. Also, if you like this content, give me a like, share, subscribe down below. Those help out a lot. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. And as always, guys, we'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos for my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll see you in the next video.